السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين All praises belong to Allah سبحانه وتعالى We praise him, we seek his help, his assistance in all our matters We send peace, blessings and salutations upon the last of the prophets, the leader of all the messengers Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam My brothers and sisters You know subhanallah, Islam is such a beautiful way of life in it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't just say do good but he also defined what that good is how you and I can get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what are those beloved values to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what are those beautiful deeds that we can perform and get beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is the subject of today's khutbah so my brothers and sisters among the deeds that are most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are described in the Quran and in the ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if we were to study those there are so many subhanallah but let me just share with you some of those beautiful deeds that are most beloved to Allah azza wa jal for example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in the Quran, وَقُولُوا لِلنَّاسِ husna." Speak to the people in the best way. When you and I speak to the people, starting from our own family, our own neighborhood, our relatives, our society and the humanity at large, you and I have an opportunity to become beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Likewise, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, upon asking the question, who is the most beloved person to Allah rabbul izzah? And what are the deeds that are most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He answered, the most beloved people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are those who are most beneficial to others. And the most beloved deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the deeds in which you bring happiness in the hearts of the believers. Subhanallah. Number one, the Prophet ﷺ, he said, you must be most beneficial in order for you and me to be beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we need to be a person of benefit. Benefit your family, benefit your society, benefit wherever you go, whatever you do. Do things which are beneficial. Say things which are beneficial and spread goodness around the world. And likewise, you bring happiness in the heart of a believer you bring, you know, enjoyment and, and goodness in, in the hearts or in the lives of the believer. You become the person who performs the best of the deeds. Subhanallah, my brothers and sisters, we need to ensure that we do things which are good. We need to ensure that we say things which are good. And this is the way that we can actually follow the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and become the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And remember, Allah Rabbul Izzah, He says that He loves those who are the doers of good. Indeed, Allah Rabbul Izzah has given us this beautiful deen. Let us make sure that we perform these deeds, my brothers and sisters, so that we can, we can become the beloved to Allah Rabbul Izzah and we can elevate ourselves fi dunya wal akhira in this world and in the hereafter. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.